Welcome to Coral Painter Essentials 8 tutorial. My name is Magdalena Proszowska. I am a digital painter, professionally working as senior concept artist from Game Dev, dedicating all my time to drawing and painting using digital media. In this three part short tutorials, I will present you the process of painting a horse, starting from a sketch, developing colors, and adding details at the end sharing tips and tricks how to efficiently use this very small but yet very powerful software. The first step is to create a canvas to paint on. So let's open File, New, and here in a new image window you can change the proportion of the picture that you want to paint. You can choose from some of the existing ones. Uh, I use a portrait as a base and just change the resolution to higher uh, so I have enough space to create the details, change the Canva colors to some warm neutral color and try to find a nice looking paper. Um, paper actually can be changed any moment uh, later so you don't have to stress over it. Uh, but I really like some of those natural looking and the paper on its own will have a really huge impact on the brushes because uh, a lot of the brushes that pick the texture up uh, will look completely different depending on the paper that you choose. So anytime while painting you can change the paper texture here on the left sidebar. And the third thing is to, I, I think I would like to introduce you just a general uh, layout of the uh, Coral Painter Essentials 8. Uh, so all the tools you will use, you have uh, arranged on the left side. And this is very useful uh, color wheel that you can scale up, scale down and easily move anywhere. I just really love this floating color wheel. It's so easy to use and so functional. And when you are moving the cursor around, you can see the color you have previously chosen and now you can choose a new one. So you can compare colors uh, and choose which new hue variation you want to have. On the right side, you have a mixer panel where you can pick a colors, existing colors from the panel um, or you can start adding new ones and mixing together with whatever is already present on, on the panel. If you need to clear it, you can go to Restore Mixer Pad or you can start completely fresh by uh, clicking the trash can here and starting your own palette and the color mixed. You can switch to color set where you have all hues in, arranged and grayscale or in separate categories like flesh tones, pastels and below it you have a harmony window. Uh, this is very helpful to show you the color that go together well uh, the first row show complementary, second row is chromatic light, and the third row is chromatic dark. So wherever you choose a color, those harmonies uh, choose with your color as well. So anytime you have a new color, you can see which color is harmonious, and uh, you have a scale of light and dark. And whenever you click a lock, you can keep this color um, visible. So if you change your color, this color harmony stays the same with your previous color. By unlocking it, you can create a new color harmony. And in the layer window, you have uh, your base layer canvas with the color that we choose when we were creating a new file um, and you can create a new layer here so whenever you need uh, to paint something separately from the rest 
or you want to make changes but you are uncertain if this is a good idea, you can create a new layer and always hide it, compare it with what you previously painted and hide it. Or you can separate the different elements of the picture to different layers to better organize your painting. Let's start sketching by opening brush menu and choosing pencil category. You can choose from different type of pencils, soft or hard or mechanical, with different um, response to the tilt of the pen or to the texture. For example, mechanical pencil, you can guess from the name, will have a stable width of the brush. While soft, well, let's take 6B, this pen, this pencil, um, its thickness depends on the tilt of the pen. So if I have my pen exactly 90 degrees toward the tablet, the line is thinner. If I tilt my brush, I can create more gradient with strong texture line. It's really useful if you already like shading when you are sketching. So this covers all the basics you need to know to really start painting in the Coral Painter Essentials uh, and we finally can jump into the sketching. For the topic I choose a painting of a portrait of a horse. I really love drawing horses as a kid so it's a really nostalgia for me uh, and those are such a beautiful animals it's always such a enjoyable thing to paint. Um, so I studied a few uh, horses from photos uh, on the side uh, and this is uh, one idea that I had. Uh, it will be quite simple, uh, just focus on the head, uh, a little bit of a neck and chest showing but I don't really want to dig deep into anatomy because it's really complicated. The beauty of painting in digital is that any mistakes you make can be really quickly fixed. So the head I started drawing is just too large and I am trying to modify it, just scale it down and fit it properly into composition. Um, the color I, for the sketch I choose blue but I don't, I'm not even sure why I started with blue. It doesn't really matter, you can also change the color of the sketch at the any moment. The video at this moment is sped up three times because um, you're watching it in uh, real time. It will be really slow. I'm a really slow thinker and I take a lot of time to plan the uh, composition and the lines. And I can notice the head is still too big. So scaling it down um, and I take the whole sketch and move it out a bit to the left because um, I think it will improve composition later. This stage of sketching is really important. You really want to nail uh, all the big forms and proportions at the beginning so you don't have to fix it later when you have colors and everything on separate layers because then it will be very painful to fix uh, big shapes. So uh, I'm really trying to imagine <laughs> the future problems uh, while doing this sketch. And it's almost ready. I am not going to do anything more detailed. It's just the general uh, shapes and form I want to capture. Um, I don't think I really need anything more beside it. So yes, in reality, basically the sketch took me like 10 minutes. Uh, and from here I can jump into the colors and start filling up. You might notice that from time to time I am flipping the whole canvas horizontally and this is also very helpful to refresh your view and if you have any errors this will show them immediately to you. Go check the second part of this video to see how this piece is developing.